Donna Bush with your CID television news brief on this Tuesday. The inaugural Cayman Islands National Attractions Authority Tourism Ambassador Summer Camp has started. A Minister for Tourism and Ports, the Honorable Kenneth Bryan, met with the 7 to 11 year olds at the Botanic Park as a two week camp kicked off. So we start from a young age. It's something that we built within the tourism ministry and with CINA involved, I think that we can do a whole lot more. So I'm excited. Uh, first two weeks is the, the baby kids and then uh, after the second two weeks, we're going to have the older kids who will be able to get more in, in tune with the, the educational components. And the younger ones is about having fun and, and making them fall in love with the information because as they get older, as they become adults, and they see our guests and our visitors to the country, they can tell the stories that make us who we are. Cena staff and Minister Bryan are excited about what could become an annual camp for children's ages 7 to 17 to learn all about our local attractions and how to become ambassadors for our islands. It's been a long time coming. We've put in a lot of work to get this up and running and we're just delighted as a National Attractions Authority, formerly the Tourism Attraction Board, to have and to host this summer camp because we want our kids to truly be ambassadors of tourism for the Cayman Islands, not only for them to invite people to come and see our beautiful islands, but also for them to have this ownership that these are our national attractions and they have to help us preserve them to ensure that they're sustained for future generations, many more generations to come. And this is why we're doing this, not only for fun, but to educate and give them that sense of corporate responsibility that when it's their time to take the baton, they will have the success they truly need to have for our tourism product to continue to be one of the best in the Caribbean. Around 200 children will participate in the camp and spaces are still available for 12 to 17 year olds. The camp for the older group begins on July 24th through to August 4th and parents can sign them up through the Cayman Islands National Attractions Authority's Facebook page. Now the campers will visit the Botanic Park, Pedro St. James and the Turtle Center during the Free Tourism Ambassador Camp, which provides meals, adventures and learning for children from across the island. Come on, come on, what are we going to have in our kits? We continue our coverage of hazard management and the Department of Children and Family Services collaboration to provide caregivers with the knowledge needed to care for their elderly patients during and after a hurricane. The sessions are being held across the Cayman Islands to ensure the caregivers are provided and prepared, particularly those living in areas that are prone to flooding and are close to the sea. The crashing waves will bring the storm surge inland, okay? A lot of you may be living on the first floor. You may not have elevation to go up. These people may need to be evacuated from their homes. And you have a responsibility or care or duty for the people you're looking after, okay? So we're going to talk about the importance of shelters. After the sessions, caregivers know where the shelters closest to them are now and other vital information which is needed. It helps me to, you know, to care more about the elderly, to protect them from being drowned and how to, you know, to make sure that they are safe during the time of um, hurricane preparation and ensure that, um, that they are well protected and well taken care of. Parliamentary Secretary for Social Development, Ms. Heather Bodden, attended the Savannah Caregiver Session. I think we, we got the message out loud and clear to those caregivers that are here. They're eager to, to um, get an update on everything and um, we, we, we feel now that they're eager now to do their part to make sure that our seniors are kept in a very comfortable and in a position where they, they are properly cared for in such a situation that may face us later on. Now all registered caregivers received certificates verifying they have participated in the HMCI and DCFS sessions. Turning now to the Tuesday night forecast, we can expect partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of rainfall. Seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. The two-day outlook is for moderate northeasterly winds and slight to moderate seas through to Thursday afternoon. Well, you can check out the Cayman Islands Weather Services uh, website as well as their Facebook page to learn more about what is happening locally weather-wise. And this brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CID Television. I'm Donna Bush. Have a great night, everyone.